I am now uh, back in my hotel room after my uh, pre-examination for my LASIK surgery. Uh, everything was good, very pleased about that. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a really interesting process. Uh, it's quite a lengthy process, as I have already alluded to. Uh, got there at one o'clock, uh, filled out a yeah, info sheet thingy, um, and uh, then waited for a few minutes, and then was in the first of about, oh shoot, seven or eight different rooms to do different tests and stuff. And it's an amazing process. The place I went to, the TRSC in Thailand, without wanting to sound like an infomercial, have it down to a fine art, almost like uh, assembly line but with a more personal touch and they really take care of you, guide you through each step uh, and a couple of weird things, a couple of things that surprised me, they do a pressure test on your eye where they puff air into your eye that really startled me, that was quite spinny uh, they do another test which tests the thickness of your um, thickness of your cornea and, uh, and that's like stepping into a disco it's, it's like this 3D field that you're looking into this spot and they're flashing all these lights at you, it's kind of interesting. And uh, they also uh, put some eye drops in and I was very impressed with the way they do it. They sit you down in a massage chair and give you a massage and uh, the bizarre thing was, whilst you're having a massage and you've just had these eye drops and then apparently blur up your eyes, although that said, I'm just back now and my eyes aren't that blurry, but they're supposed to be blurry for four or five hours. Um, they're playing Christmas music and not even that. Christian Christmas music, like, you know, Do You See What I See and uh, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. It's July, I'm in Thailand, which isn't even a Christian country, and they're playing Christmas music at me. I wonder if that just helps people relax. I, I don't know, very many, but the, uh, the uh, massage chair was, was quite comfortable. I actually didn't want to get out of it. But uh, everything went well. Uh, the, uh, the doctor that uh, is going to be performing my surgery tomorrow has said that I've got an excellent chance of good results. Uh, they have a, a scale. If you've got a, uh, a correction need of uh, up to minus six, then uh, your chances are 99% of a really, really good successful operation. Uh, if you're between minus six and minus 10, it's uh, kind of 95 to 97 percent chance that everything's going to go well and if you're more than 10 then there's like a, a 90 percent chance or something that that uh, things aren't going to go that well basically because it means you've got more correction required. Uh, I'm a minus three which is great because uh, that's obviously well within the minus six margin. It means everything's looking really good. Uh, I've opted to go with the middle um, type of laser, LASIK surgery that they offer. They have a, a what they call a, a premium, an optimum, and an ultimate. I'm going for the optimum, which is a different laser to what they use for the, the basic treatment, which is the premium. So maybe about another three or four hundred dollars dearer, but they assure me that that means that my night sight will be better. And uh, I'm a DJ, so of course uh, my night sight in nightclubs is kind of something that I, I value. So I figure spending a little more money and going with the right thing is probably the better thing to do in my case. So uh, here I am with glasses, uh, getting ready for my operation tomorrow. Uh, everything going well, it'll be swimmingly wonderful and I won't be wearing glasses for a while. Uh, they did answer a couple of my big concerns, which was I felt like I was going to look like a bit of a dick having to go back to the clinic wearing my eye shields on the uh, morning after the operation. Turns out I can take them off before I leave my hotel room, so uh, that's good. Don't feel quite so dumb now. So I've only got the one dumb ride in public, which is uh, where I'm riding from the uh, clinic where I, I have the surgery, uh, which apparently takes 20 minutes total, both eyes, quick and easy. Uh, amazing. Like, I've just spent a couple of hours there and 20 minutes tomorrow for the surgery. Uh, of course, today's visit was 1,500 baht. Tomorrow's is 73,000 baht. So they're kind of not relative, but it's just the strangeness of the world, isn't it? But yeah, so when I finish the surgery tomorrow, I'm, I'll have these uh, eye shields on my, my face. I, I will be able to see there are little holes in them. They're kind of like little bandages that go over the eyes. Uh, but uh, it does mean that I will look like a bit of a muppet uh, getting the cab from the back to my hotel, which thankfully isn't too far away from the clinic. Uh, but I can take them off before I get back on the first one. That's good. So tomorrow, uh, everything going well. I'll be operated on and be able to see a bit better after that, he's hoping. Uh, so I'll talk to you soon and uh, I'll update you on anything else I can think of as and when I do. Hey, thanks, mate.